Hey everyone, Read Cool Views here. It's been a minute since I last made a video. I think it was um, the Survivor video after the finale. It's been a while. But I figured, you know, get the videos back up and running. And I thought since September is usually the month that Survivor premieres, why not make some Survivor themed videos? So. Today I wanted to talk about, um, kind of a personal one, basically, um, what I would want to see for future Survivor seasons. So as we all know, um, and as I mentioned before, Survivor usually premieres like mid to end of September, and because of the coronavirus, um, they've kind of halted uh, production on season 41. So we have no clue like usually at the the previous season's finale we get some kind of idea as to what the theme is but we don't even know what the theme is going to be yet jeff did hint that eventually he would possibly want to have teenagers on the show i think that is i don't think that's a good idea um if you want a reason why um, watch season 39 that whole controversy I do think though that if you're 18 or older I do think you should be able to apply just like it always has been but um, I would like to see and I know um, season 39 was full of controversy and I'm not gonna get into that but I did like the fact that they had um, mentors, how they had Sandra and Boston Rob come out. Now, that was the first time they've ever done anything like that. And anybody went to Island of the Idols. When I first heard about that, I thought it was maybe going to be Exile Island and they have to stay there overnight and they would be immune from the vote. But just because you went to Island of the Idols didn't, doesn't mean you'd be immune from the vote. I get why people complain about that season, forgetting about the whole controversy behind that season, but I get why people were disappointed about Island of the Idols. I feel like that whole idea was either going to be really good or really bad. Me personally, I think it's in the middle. Like, I don't think that that, well, as a season as a whole, it was probably the worst season of Survivor ever, but that whole Island of the Idols idea, I feel like they could do more with that. Um... I know as Survivor fans, I know if any of us were on the show, I think we would lose our minds if we saw Boston Rob and Sandra there. I think we would have a case of starstruck and that might actually cloud our judgment when we're trying to do um, one of the challenges there. Now, both Boston Rob and Sandra said that their, um, that their, basically their Survivor career is done. Is it really done? We don't know. But from... Um, interviews and what they said on the show that this is, was their last season. So it would be very interesting to see if they got like another um, duo, power duo to do Island of the Idols. I would love to see Cops R Us be mentors for Island of the Idols. Can you imagine Tony and Sarah as um, mentors? I think they would both be great mentors, um, but if they both say that hey survivor I don't want to be on it anymore I feel like winners at war was a great um, way to end their survivor journey but I also think that they would be great mentors and they would I feel like they'd be able to give good advice because they're the right combination like Sarah's very cool and collected like people she has the, one of the best social games I've ever seen. Like people don't know because she, you know, gets along well with everybody. People don't know that she's actually running the show behind the scenes. And we've all seen Tony with his spy shack, his spy bunker, and his spy nest. I mean, I think he would have good ideas on how to survive on an island and survive Survivor. I would also like to see some other players come back and I know that that's up in the air of Survivor fans. Some people love to see returning players 
other people are sick of seeing the same people over and over. And I totally agree with that. Like, people that have been on, like, five or six times, it almost kind of makes you not want to watch it because it just seems like they keep put, they keep putting them on there until that specific person wins. Like, I could see why people love um, Joey Amazing and Ozzy and Malcolm, but they've had them on there so many times. And not, not all of them have been on six times, but you know what I mean. Like, I feel like they need to give somebody else a chance. And a few minutes ago, before I um, started this video, I kind of actually had a really good idea for a new season. So I know, um, besides Winners at War, one of the... Um, fan favorite Survivor seasons was Survivor Cambodia, aka Survivor Second Chance. A lot of us in the Survivor fandom like that we got a say in who got to compete that season. And it kind of added a new element to the game because people had, um, they had just as much pressure as they did in their previous seasons because they were fan picked. So they feel like they had a lot to, um, they feel like they, you know, had to be role models and they had to, a lot to live up to. Basically a lot more at stake. But I would love to see a season. Now this could go one out of two ways. They could either have a season with all runner-ups and they could call the season Unfinished Business because they all just made it to the end, but for whatever reason or another, they couldn't, they didn't win the game. So it would be very interesting to see a season with all runners up. Now, people may not necessarily like that because we just had a season of all winners. I know that people in the past discussed um, maybe having a season where the first person off, that's the whole contestants, people who have only been voted off first. But I would love to see a season with runner ups because there's a lot of fan favorite runner ups. But the unfinished business. Uh, theme can also work if they did another second chance season like have another um fan vote for people who've only been on one time and we get to vote them in again but we call it survivor unfinished business i think that'd be a lot of uh i think that'd be a really good idea i feel like i know me i loved watching the uh live vote show to see who made it on and who didn't and I was overall pretty pleased with the cast that season. I thought it was a, I thought it was a great season. So I definitely feel like that they have uh, they ha they can do a lot with another second chance season, and I really think that that would be very popular. I'm I'm not sure if they would do a season with runners up so close to um, Survivor winners at war just finishing. They, they may do that in the future, but I don't see them doing that for a couple more seasons. I feel like they like to balance it out a bit, like not have back-to-back -back returning seasons. I feel like they like to add a, little, add a little bit of returning seasons here and there, but I feel like it's good having seasons where it's brand new players and we get to be fans to a whole new cast and let some other people who've never played the game before have a chance to win. So. Feel free to comment down below on your thoughts or ideas of what you would like to see for future Survivor seasons if you think my ideas are good or if you don't agree with them because, hey, you might like my ideas, you may not, but that's life. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Survivor video. I um, hope you guys are all staying safe out there and I really hope Survivor comes back on soon. Hopefully, and we'll see if come back in January, February. So until next time, stay regal.